Welcome back to the Impact Arena. For those of you just joining us, welcome along in the company of uh, Paul Hand and Morton Frost, taking you through the quarterfinals action today. 20 matches unfolding across two courts. We're bringing you 10 of them on show court one. And, uh, well, we're two-tenths of the way through, if you will. Already we've seen a mixed doubles in which Dechepol Parvanukro and Sapsili Tiaratanachai of Thailand as the top seed came through against Chan Pung Soon and Go Liu Ying of Malaysia. So the top seeds downing the fifth seeds. Then we followed that with the uh, men's singles, Cho Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei, the second seed coming through against Li Ji Jia of Malaysia. Just extending his head to head over Lee at 4 2. That's a third consecutive win now for Cho, the world number two, really laying down a marker for the rest of the draw. He'll go on to play Angus Nkarlong in the men's singles from the bottom of the draw there. But turning our attention now to mixed doubles. Match three features the Korean fourth seeds, Seo Seung Jae and Chai Yu Jung. And uh, well, they take on the sole remaining Hong Kong Chinese team in mixed doubles. Chang Tak Ching and Ng Wing Yung, world number 37s. And you can see up above, who already lie in wait, Pravanukro Tiratenachai. We told you about that win earlier, 21-18, 21-17 over the Malaysian fifth seeds, Chan and Go. So that's how the draw lies. Jordan and Octavianti also threw right down the bottom of the doubles draw. They had a win over the Danes, Christiansen and Boyle. So uh, they're through as well. So the semi-final lineup starting to take shape. On court one, mixed double quarterfinal. Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung from Korea. Here they are, the Versus Koreans first Chang out. They had a walkover in their Lee first from match China. against uh, an Egyptian team. Umpires. And then Emmanuel a good Kamuizide win over their compatriots called Sung Hyun Servistors. and Yom Hai Won, world number 26 team yesterday. That was a three game affair. Their opponents behind them, Chan Tak Ting Ching and Ng Wing Yung from Hong Kong, China. World number 37 is taking on the world number six is here in the red. So expectation on the seats to come through this. They've won twice before against uh, today's opponents. Will it be a hat-trick of wins for them? As it was for Cho. <laughs> So our third quarter final then just about to get underway, the knock up. And our players taken to court. Shuttles ripped from dispensers and we're ready to go. All lefty Korean team, of course. 23-year-old Seo Seung Jai from Jeonju in Korea. They were semi-finalists at the All England Open last March. Lost to the Thai top pairing that we uh, just brought you at the top here. Poivron Ukra and Taratanachai. That was 19.21 in an hour and 23 minutes. They lost also in the first round of the Indonesian Masters. It's Seo Sung Jai and his uh, partner, Chai Yu Jung. She's uh, a couple of years older, 25, in the all-lefty team, 1 metre 63. Currently ranked sixth, have been one spot higher together. And uh, as I said, their path through, they had a walk over to the Egyptians in the opening round and then coming through just five minutes shy of an hour against a Korean compatriots, 21-15 in that deciding game. What of their opponents? Two 25-year-olds from Hong Kong, China. Chang Tak Ching. 
have been 10 spots higher in the rankings. That was back in April 2019 when they hit, knocked down the top 30 door and got to 27 in the world. They've had numerous uh, round of 16 showings. Their best result was a quarter final of the New Zealand Open in 2019. They've been struggling for a bit of confidence lately coming into this tournament. They only won one from their last five mixed doubles matches together as we take a look at mm, Wing Young. 1m63 and, uh, well, again, 25 years old. But then uh, coming here, they've done well. They took out the New Zealand pair, Oliver Leyden davis and Anona Pak. Pretty convincingly, straight game affair inside half an hour. And then yesterday crushed uh, Ranky Reddy and Panapa in 29 minutes. Yeah, and that's a very fine win when you consider that uh, yeah. they beat the seeded uh, Indonesians. Faisal and, and Vijaya in the first round. So uh, that was a very good win for the uh, Hong it? Kong China pair. Yeah. And with uh, Tang and Se as the eight seeds losing as well, they're the only uh, sole flying team from Hong Kong China left in the draw unusually. Normally those two go deep, don't they? But uh, they went out yesterday to Landsfuss and Hertrich. So will uh, the team from Hong Kong, China keep a clean sheet as they have done throughout the tournament so far. Will you adopt double knot uh, player with the laces, Morton, or did you just go single knot? On my right. <laughs> Double. <laughs> Reassuring, <laughs> eh? Yeah. yeah. Just being me. Yes. <laughs> On my left, Chan Chun Ching and Yi Min Ying, Hong Kong, China. Chan Yun Yu to serve to Yi Min Ying, Labor. Play. follow-up by Zhang. One, First time I really four. took notice it was back in 2019 at the Denmark Open where the pair from uh, Hong Kong, China beat uh, the Atcox in the first round in three games. Two, one. relevant it One. is but these these teams uh, have met twice before and as we said coming in Seo and Chai of uh, Korea have a two-love lead both matches were in 2019 and on one occasion the uh, ranking underdogs if you will from Hong Kong China did steal a game but lost 21-14 in the decider that was at the uh, Yonex Chinese Taipei Open I don't know if we can read too much into that a couple of years ago now uh, it's a couple of years but um, Sometimes it, it can play on players' minds that whether they have lost or won. So uh, you, you never know. But I, I, I feel somehow that the um, Hong Kong China pair is blowing a little bit hot and cold now and again. So, so let's see what kind of day it is today. I guess it'll take them a little while as well, Mont, to settle down to the fact that the Koreans are both left-handers. It feels a little bit different, doesn't it, against lefties? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit unusual. You normally try to go for a left and a right-handed combination, but very seldom you have two lefties. Six over, four, five. 
But so far, I think it's a little bit of a, a slow start for Siu Xiong Jai and Chai Yu Jung. Normally, they are, are quite aggressive and they, uh, they really, she is hunting the shuttle so well at the front of the court, setting up good opportunities for Siu Xiong Jai. That's more like it. Yeah, that's what we're used to seeing, isn't yeah. it? Front foot Five. badminton from the oh. Koreans. And it's interesting, twice in the rally, Siu Sung Jae is opting to lift cross court, meaning that Cha Yu Jung is actually standing on the straight smash. And despite that, he was still opting, so he's got a lot of confidence in the defense of his partner. Six, five. Oh. Oh. Seven, five. Well, the surf found the line. Just oh. great surf. Electric Six, there. Seven. Mm, Wing Young. Making her presence felt nice and early. Seven. All. Forgot there was a left Thanks hand there Eight. on the lift, the cross Seven. lift into the uh, forehand side. This one here, forgot that Siu Sung J was the lefty. Yeah, came back with flames on it, didn't it? It did. <laughs> you can look at it, uh, at her expression, face expression. She knew straight away, oh, did I do that? Six over, eight, all. One meter 1.88 tall. It's funny you say that because I was just thinking it, that he's very, very agile for his 1.88. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's quick. Yes, he is. Nine, eight. Over. Nice try Nine. from mm -hmm, trying to get involved oh. and intercept and oh. Oh. Six over ten nine redeems herself immediately with an excellent point there. Promising signs from Ten. Wing Young, oh. very sort of proactive and getting stuck in. Yeah, on, a, on occasions, uh, I think the Hong Kong China player has really been exposing the fact that uh, Siu Sung Jae is not the quickest player on court. They're really chasing him from side to side, and, and he's, he needs a lot of help from uh, Chai Yu Jung to, to cover the court. 
And I think uh, they have Goal. exposed that quite oh. nicely. Service over. 11 10. Recover. So, the underdogs relatively with a one point lead here against the fourth seeds from Korea. How about that? Seven minutes of action and one point ahead. 11 10. Eleven ten. Play. Oh. Oh. Six over. Eleven all. First time I saw uh, Su Sung Jae and Cha Yu Jung as a partnership that was in uh, New Zealand Open in 2018, where they got all the way to the final, where they lost to Wang Chilin and Yi Cha Sin from uh, Chinese Taipei in three very, very good games 21 19 in the third and final game. But that was the first time I saw them, that was uh, when they formed the partnership back in 18. And that's interesting you say that because these two from Hong Kong, China, it was their best result down there in Hong Kong, but in 2019 rather than 18, they made the quarterfinals. That's the deepest they've ever been in a World Tour event. And you know, this, for them, at number 37 in the world, is a huge opportunity. Chance to make semi-finals of a Super 1000 level event. It's quite a coup. It is. It makes you wonder, Morton, as well, whether they might get a little bit tense towards the sharp end if they were to win the opening game. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Let's see. Sung Jae and Chai Jung sort of moving more into gear. I think it's a little bit quicker now than in the opening. Six over, 15, 14. Two mistakes Boy, from uh, Cha Yu Jung. Created say say or there, wasn't he? Just trying to open up the court with such a good angle. Only just missed. Very well played. Thanks, Both players, uh, Seo Sung Jae oh. and Cha Yu Jung, was part of the, the Korean team that won the Sudirman Cup back in 2017. It was a major upset and surprise when they beat China in the final. And these two young players were part of that uh, team that did that in 2017.
16-16. Well, an in-your-face kind of roar to greet the winning of that point from the Korean Seo Sung-jae. He was uh, very vocal there. Obviously understood the poignancy of that one. Seventeen, fifteen. That was nice. Well spotted by Seo Song Jae. Eighteen, fifteen. So how mm, was really covering the straight one, and look at this beauty. That is very well played. They're roaring now, aren't they? That's five in a row, a handful of consecutive points for the fourth seeds. Things really looking up then at the sharp end of this opening game. Brilliant from Chang Tak Ching. Really 15, persistent, keeping 19. the heat on the shuttle. Bulldozing his way through that one in the end to stop the runner points at five for the Koreans. Can they build here, the team from Hong Kong, China? So with that then, the Koreans with four game points here. Halfway home to semi-final Saturday are Seo and Chai. A terrific opening game. 21-16, they take it. Exactly quarter of an hour played. Cut one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds.
Second game, love ball, play. Good disguise from Sue Sanchez. One, love. It's the first game that these two One. from Hong Kong China have Four. lost all tournament. But it was a well won game by the fourth seeds. Pretty dictatorial, particularly at the at the uh, business end of that opening game. They really did step on the accelerator. Serving really well. Another good serve there. Yeah. Oh, that's well spotted. Six over. Well Two. spotted by Chao Yu Jung. Three. Saw the gap. Again, notice it's played on, on that mid court. Mixed doubles. Really tricky area. Well played. Three. All. Delicate shot from Chai Yu Jung. Again shows her very, very good defensive abilities. Look at that one. Beautifully played. But I like the fact that uh, Chang and Ng are really, I think they're very proactive. They're very aggressive. They really want to create the rallies and they're adding on a lot of pressure on the, the seated pair from Korea. I really like the sort of proactivity of mm, Wing Yun at the net. They're getting her involved a lot. She's got lovely hands. But the seeded team, as we thought coming into this, the world number six is just that little bit better all round. But you imagine it's encouraging, isn't it? Chang and mm there. Over. I mean, if they get a little bit more exposure Five, at this kind of level, six. they look pretty comfortable, actually. They don't look overawed, that's for sure, and certainly playing at a very good tempo. Seems to be just a question of time, perhaps. And they've got time. They're both only 25 years of age. The fighting spirit from Chai Yu Jung Six as usual. Seven, Never five. say die. She's got a wonderful attitude on court. But 
if you look at it from a tactical point of view, I think Ng Wing Yong really has to start working on her backhand side of the net. She's very, very strong on the forehand side. She's covering. She likes to go out and cover on the Thank forehand side, but she's six, leaving a lot seven. of shots on her backhand. And uh, if I was playing against her, I would sort of direct shots on the half-court area on the backhand side of mm, I think there's a kind of a gap there. Seven, all. Great disguise from Seo Sung Jai there. Six over, eight, all. Six over, nine, all. The Hong China pair, sorry, you go on. No, you go. Hong Kong China pair have to watch out for the drift when they are lifting. Seem to go quite easily out the back at the moment. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful backhand. Very quick, getting it very Six early, over, stepping into ten, it. Nine. Having three games, who knows? Yeah. Oh, he's found that as well. That's a really good nine, passage of play for Chang and mm. They take to the mid-game interval with a two-point cushion. From nowhere that came, really resilient. 25 minutes played. Is there a turnaround here in this one? <laughs> It's been a good start to the second game for the Hong Kong Please. China pair. See if they can build upon it and get a good start here after the interval. That's wide. 12 9. 12 9. Some urgency in the steps of Chung. Moving quickly to serve again. Oh. This one again lifted long of that back Six line. Over. Ten. Got to watch out. And let's see if Chai Yu Jung can get the Korean pair back on track. Relentless attack here from the two players Six from over. Hong Kong, China. 15, really good constructed attacking rally here. All over the place. 
well to serve point. Confidence is a fickle thing, Morton, isn't it? These guys coming in here, you know, they lost first round of the Thai Masters, first round of Malaysian Masters, the uh, Hong Kong China team. They won a round at the Syed Modi, but first round Korea Masters and Macau Open as well. But they've still come out and delivered here. This is a good performance. It is very good performance, of course, especially here in the uh, second game. It will be interesting to see whether they can last the pressure whether they can really add it on and keep doing it because that's what it takes 12 14. encouragingly though they, they do look very good at this kind of tempo as you say it's about sustenance isn't it it is really sustain that pressure the whole time Please. He's moving five. so quickly across the court. Yeah, both uh, women are sort of diminutive in stature, but grease lightning quick, which makes up for it. She's done a good job up there in the front court. Super block cross there from mm, electric 12. reflexes here. Yeah, I like your 17. expression, they've lost the pin code. Oh. <laughs> and I, I actually think that's what Su Sung Gay have done and Cha Yu Jung. I, th I think they, they kind of lost the plot a little bit here in the second game and not adding enough pressure and just been sitting back too comfortably. And they're suffering the consequences, I think. Six over, 18, 13. Again, that shot is proving to be so good and decisive. I can assure you, it's a very, very difficult shot to play. Yeah, looked at backpedaling fast as well. That's high skill level from Seal. A real wince and grimace after that one from mm. Wing Young. She's been so good of late. She doesn't want to. Let that go right now. It's got to keep the intensity. Six over nineteen fifteen. A 
and chances are we're treated to a third and final game. We are indeed just over half an hour action. And suddenly, from nowhere, the tables have really turned in this mixed doubles. The fourth seeds under siege here from Chang Tak Ching and Ng Wing Yung. They take the second game, 21-15. We're going the distance. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Deep in thought, what Final do we have to do now? Having Double. lost the second game, the fourth seeds are in a bit of a Please. scrap here out here on show court one. Vying for a semi-final spot tomorrow. Who's going to come through in this one-game shootout? Hey! Six over, one love. Oh. Out. Six over, one all. Good cross court shot. Six from over. Two, on the backhand cross. One. Short. The next one here. Look at this one. Yeah, you could already sense the intensity from the Korean fourth seeds. Yeah, it's all about getting a good start, and of course that goes for both pairs. been very successful in getting uh, Cha Yu Jung out of the game by pushing a lot of the shots from the front of the court towards the uh, mid-court area rather than blocking them completely short where Cha Yu Jung is very quick at the net they're sort of pushing the shuttle past her and it's dropping below her and it making uh, Siu Sung Jae having to lift and they've been very successful doing that Find out to four when it's coming next one. time. Dive there from Seo Xiong Jae. That was incredible Five, save. One. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
must say I, I really do enjoy these designated mothers. They are onto court so quickly, get it done, and you know they're hardly any time wasting. I, yeah. I really do enjoy that. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They've been so efficient, so on the ball. We <laughs> didn't see that because we were watching the replay, but they yes. really have done a grand job. One. All of the staff here in Thailand are just working, going that extra mile, especially with the COVID health and safety precautions that we have to undergo with the bubble and what have you, the quarantining. It's just been incredibly staged and managed. Oh. It's so safe. And that's a feeling Seven. that these two are starting to what? engineer here a little bit of safety in the cushion on the scoreboard that they've got, a six-point lead. And that'll really help. Wriggler off the top of the net as well. Well, it's all going well, but they've come out having yielded that second game with completely renewed conviction and vigour. The intensity is right up there now. Yeah, you create your own luck, as they say. Well, they are absolutely wired right now, aren't they? Almost aggravated at the sense of the fact that they dropped a game. They've sort of redoubled their efforts. Look at this, and look at the awareness here of the hole on the court. Brilliant from Seo. And it's interesting that Chao Yu Jung is actually covering all these half-court shots now that she didn't cover before. And that's also adding on to the pressure on the Hong Kong-China pair. Not been anyone where she's been passed as what she was in the early stages of the match. She's much more proactive now. Turn one. Ah! Eleven one interval. Well, that was a crushing blow, wasn't it, for the uh, Hong Kong-China duo. 11-1 down in the blink of an eye in Game 3. Well, a bit of a crushing blow for these two, having lost the last 10 consecutive points. And it's not that they've underperformed, it's just that the four Eleven seeds one. have really raised Three. the bar significantly. Can they hold on? Or will there be another swivel in the momentum here? Ah! Just over pressing, and that comes with scoreboard pressure. Twelve. I see it very often. One. And once again, we saw that Chao Yu-jung was covering One. that mid-court area. Once again, proactive. Six over, two, fifteen. Shows how competitive she is, doesn't it? They've just and won a dozen did. points in a row, and she's really frustrated for missing that. <laughs> 
Yeah, but she <laughs> is a very, very good competitor. Six over, 14, two. Fifteen, two. Out. Challenges called, called out. out. Just short of the line. Uh, straight away we have a challenge from Sue Song Jae. So let's let's see who is right. <laughs> the umpire or Sue Song Jae. And the player is right. Correction in. Well spotted. 16 2. Play. Six over, three, sixteen. Well, the pair from Hong Kong, China have just been absolutely stifled in this third game. Can they get a bit of a toehold, some traction in it? Uh, that's a good return of serve from Mayor Seal. Six over, seventeen. Again, Three. one of the more difficult ones. Look at that one. Played to perfection. It's all unravelling a little Three. too fast for them, isn't it? They just can't seem to get much out of the fourth seeds at the moment. The intensity is high and the awareness is up and they uh, just will not drop their guard anymore. It's a shame 19, because I, I really felt they played a, a very good second game and uh, they, they showed some very good tactical awareness and they played well and they were very proactive and suddenly it's all falling apart here in the third game. Of course, thanks to the very good play from the Koreans as well, but nevertheless, it would have been nice to have seen uh, a, a similar fight out as what we had in the uh, in the second game. Where it was more even. Oh, well, that's good play. Good tenacity, good stickability. Four, mm -hmm. 19. Yeah, interesting. Chai Yu Jung is asking mm, to move a little bit to her left because she can't see the shuttle. So she's blocking the way, and uh, that's not allowed according to the rules. But no big discussion. Oh. Just get it done. Six over. So 16 match points. points. Can't Four. see them messing up from this stage, that's for sure. All England Open semi finalists Seo Sung Jai and Chai Yu Jung surge Next into another semi final Sin here Sin in the Jai Thailand Open. They'll take on the top seeds tomorrow in Poivranuko and Tiratana Chai. And that should be an absolute belter to watch. 
as we say goodbye to Chang and Ng from Hong Kong, China, unable quite to sustain the pressure. That was the question we were asking, but very encouraging showing for the ranking underdogs there. And the world number 37s will take a lot away from that showing. Confirmation of the scoreline, 21-4 in that deciding third game in favor of the fourth seed. So there they are. They'll be pleased to get the job done. Though they had to go the long way around. Good win for the Koreans, through to the semis. Welcome back to our continuing coverage then. We are heading now towards our fourth match, which will be a women's doubles quarter final, an Anglo-Korean women's doubles first meeting featuring the fourth seeds Kim and Kong against uh, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith of England.